Empower version 1.07 Vocabulary Builder Basic Features. In this video, you will learn how to temporarily limit the words on your screen using Hide All and Show All. When using Vocabulary Builder, it will be important to know if you want to start with all of the words hidden and choose the ones you want to open which would be starting from hide all, or if you want to show all of the words and just limit a few words from being shown on the screen. In that case, you would start from show all. Go into menu, vocabulary builder, and if it is off, you will see this message, vocabulary builder is off. You can turn vocabulary builder on and off by selecting the toggle. Vocabulary Builder is turned on, and you can see all of the icons are grayed out. If I were to exit this screen right now, I would have no words showing because I chose Hide All. Sometimes people panic because they think all their words are missing. If this happens to you, look for the Vocabulary Builder symbol in the multibar. This symbol tells me that Vocabulary Builder is turned on. I can go back into the menu, into Vocabulary Builder, and toggle Vocabulary Builder off. If I exit this screen and return to my vocabulary, I see that all of my words are showing. But we want to make some changes, so I'm going to go back into Vocabulary Builder and toggle Vocabulary Builder back on. Notice all the words are grayed out, so I'm starting from the Hide All mode. And I just want to expose a few words on this screen for a beginning communicator. In this example, I'm going to be working with an early communicator, and I just want the words eat and drink to be showing on the screen during my activity. I'm going to show you two different ways to do that. One way is to select Edit List, and it says Type Words to Show Separated by Commas. So I'm going to select that text bar, and I'm going to type the word eat, and then put a comma, eat. and drink. Then select Finished. It tells me that my list is updated and I have added two words, eat and drink. I'm going to select OK. I can see them in my list here. Now, I may want to change the name of this list because I want to come back to it at another time. So I can go to this box that says Change, and I can delete that, and I'm going to call this List Eat, and select Finished. I can see my name is now Eat. All right, I'm finished with that. Now I can see that the eat and drink icons are illuminated and all the rest are still grayed out. Let's exit and see what this looks like. So Vocabulary Builder is turned on and I have my words. Eat, drink. Okay, now let's say I want to add to that list. I can go back into Menu, Vocabulary Builder, Edit List, and I can see my words eat and drink. Let's say I want to add the word stop. I'm going to select the bar, type the word stop, finished. It tells me I've added one word, select OK. I can see the word is added to my list. I'm going to select finished, and I can see that the stop icon is now illuminated. I'm going to select exit, and now you can see I've added that word. Stop. Okay. Now, let's say my lesson is over and I want to bring back all the words. I'm going to go into menu. Vocabulary Builder, and I can do two different things. I can either select Show All and bring all the words back, it will tell me, or I could untoggle Vocabulary Builder and turn it back off. I want to turn all the words back on and select Show All. Okay, all my words are back. The second way you can show words is by starting with Hide All, and it reminds me that it's going to hide all the buttons. Okay. Okay, they're all, they're all grayed out, and I know the icon sequence to say the word eat, so I can just directly touch that sequence and then select go back, and now I can see eat is illuminated. Okay, I'm going to select drink and go back. So now I can see I have eat and drink, exit, and I've got those words again on the screen. Okay, I'm going to go back into menu and vocab builder, so you can use that direct icon sequence if you only are limiting, um, you only want to have a few words showing and you know the pathway to find those words. 
All right, I'm going to show you um, how to, let's see, let's first bring all these back. Okay, I'm going to show them all again. And I'm going to exit. All my vocabulary is showing. Let's say I want to just hide one word. So I want to start from show all. And I'm working with a young child. And I don't need the word coffee showing. Coffee. So I want to hide the word coffee. I'm going to go back into my menu, vocabulary. Make sure that Vocabulary Builder is toggled on. I want to start from a show all, so now all the words are showing. Nothing is grayed out. And I can go to Edit List, and it says Hidden Words. So this time I'm going to type the word I want to hide. I want to hide the word coffee. And select Finished. So there's one word hidden. I can say OK. Finished again. Exit. And now if I go back, I can see that coffee has been hidden. Okay, I'm going to go back into menu, back into vocab builder. I want to show all the words, so I'm going to bring that word coffee back. Okay, I'm going to exit so I can show you that it's back. Drink, and there's coffee again. Okay, let's go back into vocabulary builder, and I want to show you how you can hide that word using the pathway. So I know how to say the word coffee, so I'm starting off showing all the words. I'm going to select drink, coffee, go back, exit. I'm back in my vocabulary. If I go to drink again, I, coffee is gone. So there are two different ways that you can hide. You can use edit list or you can go directly to the pathway if you know what it is. To learn how to use word list in Vocabulary Builder in Empower 1.07, watch the video tutorial, Vocabulary Builder, Advanced Features.